Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to, it's turning into a cooking show. Do you crave something warm and nourishing at the end of your day? I know I do. And this hot chocolate recipe is everything. It's naturally sweet, it soothes the soul, and it gets me ready to tuck myself into bed for a good night's sleep. I'm gonna share that recipe with you today. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video each Thursday. hot chocolate as much as I do? If so, you and I are gonna be fast friends. This is my favorite self-care hot chocolate recipe. I have this almost every night before I go to bed. It's perfect for when I'm craving something warm, something naturally sweet, and something that's gonna ease me into my evening routine. Let's get started. A couple of things that you'll need. You'll need a blender. I have my trusty Vitamix, and you'll also need a pot, a whisk, very handy, um, cinnamon, some vanilla extract. I like to put coconut oil in my hot chocolate and cocoa powder or cacao, depending on what you prefer. And then I'm using a plant milk here. So grab your essentials and I'll meet you back here in a second. Okay, the first step in this is I like to get my milk on the stove. So just as much as this is a blender hot chocolate recipe, I like to heat my plant milk on the stove before I add it to my Vitamix. It just makes the process that much faster. So I've got my plant milk here. I'm using cashew milk. I've also done a combo of coconut and cashew. Um, I've done cashew and oat. So it really depends on what you have on hand, what you prefer. If you are a person who likes dairy milk, by all means use that in this recipe. So I'm just going to add this to my pot here on the stove. And then I'm going to turn the temp up and get this to a point where it is steaming, where I can actively see um, steam rising off of the milk. So from here to my Vitamix blender, I'm going to add a nice heaping tablespoon. I like my hot chocolate chocolatey. I don't know about you, but that's my preference. So I've got my uh, cocoa here going in and I'm using cocoa today. I don't have any cacao powder on hand. Um, so I'm gonna pop that on there. I'm going to use just a little dusting of some cinnamon. It's heating. It's really good on cold days. Um, cinnamon has this just gorgeous flavor to it. It adds a little bit of spice. If you want something, if you want a hot chocolate that's more cooling for the system, I would recommend that you use peppermint oil extract, a drop of that, and you'll have a more cooling hot chocolate recipe as opposed to a warming hot chocolate recipe. So it can be used two different ways. Next up, I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna add that in there. I've got my coconut oil. So about a teaspoon of coconut oil. I'm only doing one cup here, so I'll add that in. And then for the naturally sweet part, we wanna add some, whoop, some dates. <laughs> One tried to run away from me. Now I'm adding four. It tried to run away again. <laughs> the, um, the, you can add as many as you like. So if you like it sweeter, add more. If you like it less sweet, add less. These are smaller dates. That's a pretty small date. So I'm actually using four today. Stove off. And then I'm going to gently and carefully pour my hot plant milk into my blender. I'm gonna add the top. I'm missing the little thing that goes on top here. The nice thing about a Vitamix is that you can put hot liquids in it. Um, you know, depending on your blender, this may or may not work. So just check to make sure that your blender can handle uh, hot liquids. And now what I'm gonna do is turn on some blending music for you guys. And I'm gonna start blending this up uh, before we enjoy it. So enjoy the interlude. Thank you. 
Okay, so I blended that hot chocolate for about a minute in my Vitamix at the highest speed. I hope you enjoyed that blending interlude. And I don't know if you can, yeah, you can totally see it. There is steam coming off of this hot chocolate. So I'm gonna pour my naturally sweet hot chocolate into my cup. I absolutely love drinking my hot chocolate out of this. It's frothy. It's rich, you can see the bubbles on top. This is good for you. It's full of the healthy fat with the coconut oil, naturally sweet with the dates. So I'm gonna give this a sip. Mm. Yes, it is everything I love about hot chocolate and more. I've included the recipe for this hot chocolate below. It's in the description. Make sure you grab that for yourself. I've also included a downloadable 50 everyday simple self-care tips. Make sure you grab that as well. If you love this hot chocolate, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video each Thursday. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today. Something a little different. Stay ignited out there. I will see you soon. Bye. I feel like this is a, a self-care cooking corner or a self-care, I don't know. We have to come up with something clever. What do you all think? Should I do a self-care cooking corner on my channel? Comment below.